Greetings, everyone. A very warm welcome to another edition of Exhausted to Extraordinary, a mindset hack series with me, Dr. Sharon Grossman. And today I am joined by Carrie Hummingbird. Carrie, a very warm welcome to you from Miami Beach. And where are you hanging out? I am from Austin, Texas, and thank you so much. And hello, everybody who's listening. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. I'm excited to see where this conversation takes us because I know you have an interesting background. And if you are listening to this and you don't know what Carrie's interesting background is, let me tell you. So Carrie is a soul guide and host of Soul Nectar Show, which is the number one international best-selling author of the second wave, transcending the human drama, and the award-winning best-selling book, Awakening to Me, One Woman's Journey to Self-Love, which describes the early years of her spiritual awakening. Carrie inspires people to lead their lives wide awake with an authenticity, passion, and purpose that positively impacts others. She catalyzes mind shifts that transform life challenges into gifts of wisdom. Her newest book, already a number one international bestseller, is called Love is Fierce, Healing the Mother Wound, and describes the most direct path to spiritual enlightenment. So, sounds like you've written three books so far. Yes, and there's more, but those are the ones that are mentioned and that are being well-received. Amazing. So, so many things to offer the world, and we cannot wait to hear what you have to say. And Today, in just seven minutes, Carrie's going to share with us how to handle emotional reactions. Now, I know we are all emotional beings, and we can all use a little bit of help in that area. So, Carrie, are you ready? Yes. All right. So, the clock starts now. And question number one that I have for you is, what are the biggest challenges your ideal client faces? My ideal client faces being really, really brilliant and being overworked and moving way too quickly and tripping up over usually herself time and time again, not knowing why it is that she keeps finding herself in the same repeating patterns over and over and over again, why she can't move past the glass ceiling that seems to be constantly above her head mm. and why she's having drama at home that she actually needs to be facing in a new way so that uh, she can be more confident when she goes out with her expertise in the public. Ooh, that's juicy. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. It's All a right. rich territory. Very interesting. So question number two is, what are the typical symptoms that she experiences with that problem? Short temper, um, being feeling ungrounded, feeling unsure, getting blocks coming all the time. Mm. Or getting out into a new space and then all of a sudden the new habits start to come up again. You know, the wine, the cake, the movies, the distractions surface again because yeah. there's all this new territory coming up. Gotcha. Okay. So question number three, what are the common mistakes she might make when trying to solve that problem? And you already mentioned all these different kinds of behaviors that she might engage in as a, maybe a coping strategy, any other mistakes you might see? I think a mistake usually I see is going to find more ways to prove that she knows what she's talking about from the outside world. So PhDs, more degrees, more certifications, more proof, more mm -hmm. social proof that she knows what she's talking about when actually the work is inside. Oh, that's so good. Okay, question number four. What would be an example of a transformation that is possible after this challenge is properly diagnosed, you got lots of time, four minutes and 51 seconds. Oh, good. Because this is the good question. So <laughs> why do we move faster to solve problems that are already moving too quickly? It's time to slow down. It's time to go inside. It's time to really see the bigger picture. Because when we're in the woods, we're going to be like running through the woods, slamming against this tree, that tree, that bush that, you know, we're going to, we're going to twist our ankle. Things are moving way too quick. So we got to slow it down, sink our roots deep, deep, deep into mother earth, get quiet and listen. Because the answer is, is inside. The answer is in our, our divine guidance is moving through our bodies. It's right in our bodies. It's right inside of us. It didn't go anywhere. 
but we aren't accessing it because we think somebody else knows the answer better than we do. We think we need to prove ourselves to other people when actually it's not out there. It's the outside world showing us what's going on inside us. And so, but the only way to solve what's going on in the outside world for us is to go inside and get the bigger picture on what's actually happening. One of the ways I do this is I bring th people through the gene keys. Um, gene keys, if you want to look it up, G-E-N-E-K-E-Y-S. It's a map for understanding yourself in a spiritual context. And it highlights what I like to call the soul's curriculum. So when you have a map of your soul's curriculum, you have a vantage point like the eagle flying high in the sky. You can see, oh, that's why that situation keeps happening for me. Oh, that's what's going on. And we go deep inside. And one of the things we heal inside there in that soul's curriculum is a deep understanding of the mother wound that exists in every single one of us, that sense of disconnection, that sense of not held, not supported, not wanted, not loved, mm -hmm. that causes us to react in the ways that we react. So those are the core teachings I have that help people get really grounded and centered in themselves so they can lead. So I think what I'm hearing is, in terms of a transformation, is when we slow down and tune in we heal and then what's available to us is less of that emotional reactivity. We make less mistakes. We're more in tune with ourselves. Is that about right? Exactly. Because the, the reason we're having emotional reactions is because we think it shouldn't be so. But actually the reason those things are happening is to highlight the thing inside of us in our soul's curriculum that we need to work on. And once we learn and master that skill, the thing outside stops happening. So Brilliant. those things are only happening for you, not to you. Love it. Okay. Fantastic. So question number five, what's the number one mindset hack you could give your ideal client to solve that problem? And that might've just been it, uh, but either way, you got a minute and 56 seconds. You know, here's what I love about this is it, it, there's so many ways to go about this, but you got to get still. Yeah. So I'll give you a few. So my first method for getting still when I started off and my mind was full of rock concert chatter and I couldn't even get quiet and hear myself think or even know what I want, I used my drum. So shamanic drumming is actually for that purpose of getting quiet. When you mm. drum, it actually connects you to the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Another way to get connected with Earth is to ground, go outside in nature, sit on the Earth, Sit on your front lawn if you have to. Your neighbors think you're weird. So what? Who cares? You get grounded and clear. Mm -hmm. You can also take a bath. Go float. You know, go to a sensory deprivation tank. Go float. Make yourself stay in there for two hours. Face yourself. Yeah. So some way to kind of turn down the noise. And question number six, what is one valuable free resource that you can direct people to that will further help them with that problem? You've got, let's see here. 56 seconds. Yay. So come play the love mastery game with me. It's an Oracle game helps you start to open up to your intuition. It also has built into it lots of support from earth allies like mountains and, you know, plant medicines and all kinds of cool stuff that can really help you get centered and grounded and connected back into earth. Come play it with me. Amazing. And finally, the last question, and you get about 30 seconds. What's the one question I should have asked you, but didn't that would give great value to our audience. I would say the question was, why should I pay attention to myself? Ooh. Because that's the only way you're going to find fulfillment. So good. Carrie, you rock this. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your really inspiring message. I'm sure that people can take a lot of value away from this. Um, it's definitely... Um, there's some intrigue there. I hope people do take you up on your offer and come and play that game and learn a lot about how to ground themselves, how to tune in more, how to stop chasing all the external things. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I, I think it's a really neat opportunity. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me. Thanks for checking out the Exhausted to Extraordinary podcast. If you like what we do here, head on over to iTunes to subscribe, like us, and leave us a review. It is very much appreciated. And if you're feeling burned out and want to challenge yourself, take the seven-day burnout to your best life boot camp. Go to sevendayburnoutchallenge.com to join for free.